Welcome to the tutorial on using Pivot. I've already opened Pivot today and the default screen has a stick man for you to begin manipulating. The idea of the program is to manipulate the image and click next frame down here on the bottom left hand corner for every small manipulation. However, if you want to have a background, it's a good idea to load that first. So I'm going to click File, Load Background, and I've saved my image as a JPEG. Click on my image and click open. Your students might like to draw their own background in paint. My stick man is far too big to begin with, so I'm going to scale him down to 50%. And then the yellow dot is how I move the whole stick. So if I click on that and drag to where I want them to begin. Next frame. Bring him forward a little bit. Increase his size a little bit. Click next frame. Keep repeating the process. Now I can also manipulate his body parts. Each of the red dots is like a joint. Next frame. I'm sure you get the idea. You can have a look at what it looks like by clicking play. Stop. You can slow it down by dragging on this bar here. If you want to add another figure, click Add Figure. Or if you want to add a different type of figure, click File, Load Figure Type. And here you have some choices. I can even add letters from the alphabet. I'll click Realistic Man and Open. Can move him. Again, manipulate. And next frame. When you're ready, don't forget to save your animation. Click File, Save Animation, choose where you want it to save, and click Save. If you want to be able to put your little animation on your wiki, click File, Save animation, select GIF, click OK, and then load that file onto your wiki page. I'll show you. There it is there. 
Alternatively, you could use Jing to capture the video animation. Upload that and then embed it into your wiki. Well, that's the end of the Pivot tutorial, everyone. I hope you enjoy using it. I know my students have.